Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my second video. I wanted to do a um, one of those ring pourings that I've seen so many of the talented um, acrylic pouring artists like Mix Media Girl do. And I'm using her recipe today. Uh, she uses a flow trawl, five parts, paint and three parts, water and two parts, but I went ahead and added a drop of silicone to the recipe as well. But this is her recipe here. And I'm just gonna move these over to the side. And the paints that I used were these Apple Barrel. And these are the colors. You use Jet Black, Candy Apple, White, and True Green. Those are the four colors. And again, the Floetrol and Silicone. I'm gonna pause this a second while I get set up. So what I'm going to do is, I have this Dollar Tree candle holder, and I just put it on a little plastic bottle to elevate it above the canvas, and this is just a flat board canvas that I put um, white um, paint to prime it, and I put painter's tape on the back to protect the edges. So let me put this back down here. Okay, and... I'm going to go ahead and pour, mix the paint here. Like I said, this is my first time doing this, so we'll see how it goes. But basically, you just pour your paint in, and you just keep alternating. I started with some white here. towards the edge because I think I saw Mixed Media Girl do that. So I'm going to try to use two hands here. Small canvas and this candle holder is small, so I don't need a lot of paint. But I don't want to run out either. Pour that a little fast. I saw where she did one of her pourings, and I like the way she used a lot of black. It didn't overwhelm the painting. Like I said, the only difference, and I should have just not add the silicone since it was my first time but it's in there okay. I think that's gonna be good we'll put these off to the side and put a little bit more white I really like Okay, 
this is what it looks like before pour it and then she just kind of wiggles it back and forth to try to get that pattern oh that already looks really pretty She may not have used silicone is because as this stretches across this candle, it may keep stretching, you know, may not get good coverage. to blend it because don't want the paint to turn muddy. Overall it's good coverage. And I just remembered that the last pouring that I did, I meant to show you the finished result. So before this video is over, I'll make sure that I grab that. It was the acrylic pouring on the tile. Okay, very happy with that. Okay, so the next thing she did was she worked her canvas. So let me pause this so I can move this out of the way. Okay, now that we have the candle holder out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and move the paint around on this canvas. a little bit. I think I'm going to put maybe some washi tape on the edges after I take the painter's tape off. Okay, just moving it around so I can get good coverage. Okay, just wanted to spare you the, the trials and tribulations of moving this paint around the canvas. Um, got pretty good coverage, smudged it right here, but this was the drippings off of that candle. Like I said, I'm going to put maybe some washi tape on the edges as I have the painter's tape there now. So this is the result. I would have liked for it to be brighter, and in my case, the colors really blended. Um, got a much better result on the candle, but I'm pleased with this because I can put maybe some vinyl. I do uh, cuts. I have a, a Cricut, and I can um, cut, you know, maybe um, boho feather or something like that, or uh, Dreamcatcher, and put it on here. 
So that's it. Let me get the other one. I wanted to make sure that I showed you the tile from last time.